Hey, here's something that might shock you. Most businesses are building their AI strategy on quicksand. They're getting involved in so many different AI tools and not knowing how to use them or implement them. They're just kind of buying the shiny object with no real clear strategy behind it. I talked to a chief operating officer just the other day, and they were so overwhelmed with how many tools that were out there. They know that there's some cliche low-hanging fruit to uh, leverage AI to find the efficiencies, but it's so overwhelming. It's hard to keep up. Well, it's impossible to keep up, so let's not even try. I can't keep up. The good news is there's so many tools that can solve so many problems, but by itself, these large language models, and I call it the trifecta, the trifecta is really all you need to get started. And that trifecta to me is ChatGPT, the full version, the full version of Claude. The third one's really kind of an option. You can really just get by with those two to get started, but then perplexity, I think it's a good one to have. That trifecta and the usage of those I've talked about, but at a high level, you know, ChatGPT, OpenAI, it's kind of leading you can do so many things with that. The analysis, the image generation, the uh, web browsing, all that stuff is there. And with the newer versions coming out, they're always going to kind of be ahead of the pack. Now, Claude is my favorite. You heard me talk about from a content creation perspective. It's very powerful. I love Claude. In fact, I'm finding myself using Claude more than ChatGPT at the moment, but I love both of those. Those two, I can pretty much get anything I need to get done, particularly if you're new to AI and uh, these large language models then just focus on getting good at those two. And that's what I want to show in this video today. It's like, what is something, okay, you've gotten past the excitement of, okay, ChatGPT can help me write a better email. It can uh, write a newsletter for me. It can create an email campaign for me. It can generate some images. That's all great. But we got to think well beyond that. These tools are so valuable. And when I look back at my 15 years as an executive leadership coach and working with organizations to change their culture, one thing that we, I did a lot of that really was kind of at the early stages of an engagement was value mapping, uh, particularly if an organization feels like, and, and of course, every organization has places to improve. But if you're looking to get involved with AI and large language models and you want to see some early wins and not spend a lot of money, um, use these large language models for what they're great at. They're great at uh, brainstorming and giving you some alignment and clarity about what to do next based on the context and the input that you put in. And that's kind of what I want to show you in this video is the value mapping process. This is something that you can do without going out and buying a new AI tool or anything else. But if you've got processes that could be improved upon, then let's value map those. Now, again, I did this pre-AI and it was a pretty lengthy process. It would take me quite a while, a couple of weeks to really dig in and uh, analyze the processes and then figure, okay, well, how can we improve them? Well, now you've got these large language models. And now once you kind of find those kind of friction points or those choke points in your processes, you can create a custom GPT or project, which I'm going to show you in here. And particularly if you want to use AI and some tools that are out there, it can narrow it down and show you which ones to focus on. So let's do the the, the value mapping piece. And, the, and how would we do that? Well, the first and foremost I want to create a set of custom instructions that we can put in with the custom GPT and or Claude projects. And you may be going, what, what are you talking about? Maybe you're, maybe you're new to using these large language models. Well, let me show you how it's done. I'm going to show you how to create those custom instructions by using the large language models. Then I'm going to show you to set up a custom GPT and use the custom GPT if you want to use chat GPT. And I'll do the same thing if you want to use Claude projects. Now I'm biased towards Claude projects. I think it's a little more powerful for this, but I'm going to show you both. Okay. So let's get started and let me show you how to create the custom instructions for the custom GPT and or the Claude project. All right, so when we're talking about value mapping before AI, I would ask organizations, I sit down with them and I'd say, hey, let's identify your most highest value business ideas or actions and activities. You know, what are the things that brings in the most profitable? What are the most profitable activities? But in addition, and they may be related, but also the things where you're spending most of your creative energy. What are your team spending their most time on? Hopefully that's resulting in your most profitable activity. Sometimes it doesn't. But if you look at that and you look at what or the most, where you're spending most of your energy, and then also where are the choke points? I mean, any time you're, no matter how efficient you are, there are always choke points, difficulties, repetitive tasks. People are saying there's got to be a better way but we just don't know if only. So those are the type of things that, that you're probably familiar with in your business. So you're going to have to spend a little time thinking about that. And now we're going to use large language models to help us once we feed that information, give them that context that I just talked about, to come up with an implementation plan 
to find efficiencies, particularly using AI and the current tools out there to help solve those problems. So this is a great exercise if you're new to AI and large language models to find out how to use large language models and AI and other tools maybe to make the efficiencies better. How do you create the custom instructions? How do you create the custom GPT? That's what I'm going to show you. Now you can do this in chat GPT, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to do it in Claude because I always like the output better. But here's a prompt that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to minimize my face a little bit. But here's a prompt that I can put that I came up with that you could do to help you create the custom instructions to create the custom GPT. So you don't need to stress, guys. You just need to be focusing on the context. Treat it like that perfect assistant and tell it what you want. So look at my prompt, what I put here. Can you help me create custom instructions for an open AI custom GPT or cloud project? where the large language model is an expert business analysis specializing in identifying AI implementation opportunities. Your role is to help business map the value creating activities and identify specific AI enhancement opportunities. And I'm gonna hit enter and it's gonna come up with, hopefully, a set of custom instructions that I can plug in to at least get me started in a custom GPT. And look what it came up with. Again, this is the beauty of these large language models. Now, I don't need to spend a lot of time trying to come up with the the prompt on what it put in the custom GPT. Now, what we have over here to the right is the custom instructions that at least on the at least get started with a custom GPT and put in there. Look what it's doing. This is the core identity and purpose. Here's the key area of expertise. Again, I'm going to spend all my time looking at this, making sure this makes sense. I don't necessarily just take what it gave me at, at face value, but I'm looking at, and again, these are instructions for my custom GPT that we're going to use. But look how well, uh, to me, this is pretty solid and pretty strong, right? And so, this is going to give me some pretty solid instructions that I can put into my custom GPT. So let's just, for the sake of the demo and time, let's just assume that I've gone back and forth, I've read through this, I'm happy with these custom instructions, and then it's just a matter of copying all of this and then putting it into the custom instructions for the GPT. So here I am in my OpenAI chat GPT, and I've gone down here and I said, explore GPTs, and it opened up this section over here. So now I'm gonna go into create and create a new custom GPT. Now, you can uh, talk to it in create, or we can go into configure. I always go into configure, and what I did in those custom instructions is what I'm gonna put in here. So we're gonna go into here, and we're gonna call it a value mapping assistance, the map value creating activities, identify specific AI enhancement opportunities, and those custom instructions that I created over here in Claude, I'm going to go ahead and paste them in here. And now I've already gone ahead and had an image created for it. So if I wanted to make it better, I could actually upload documents about my business. If I had a brand summary strategy, I had information about my brand, I could put all of this in here to make this custom GPT even better. I'm going to have it do web search capabilities, code interpret, data analysis, and we're good to go. I'm going to update it, and now I can actually use this custom GPT. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to view the GPT, and here it is, and I'm just going to say, let's start. And it should ask me a series of questions, right? Let me minimize my face so you can read. It says, to begin, can you tell me a bit about your business type, your primary activities, additionally, you're aware of any specific areas you'd like to streamline processes, improve decision-making, or enhance efficiency, feel free to share those as well. Now, I went ahead and made up some dummy data, just like you would if this was your business. I'm going to pretend that we're a social media marketing agency, right? And so you would have to do some sort of exercise like this, where if you can look at here, here are the value-added activities, the content creations, bringing in five to eight grand a month, we're spending about 20 to 25 hours a week. Here are our friction points. Same thing with social media management, client reporting, ad campaign management, and client onboarding. Kind of makes sense, right? Now, your business is going to be different, but this is the exercise you'd have to do outside of the large language model and figure out what works for your business. So let's just go ahead and for the sake of this demo, let's copy this and put this into our custom GPT and see what happens. So structure breakdown of solutions, and it's coming up with, for content creation, here are the friction points that I gave them. Here are some AI solutions and tools, and here's the expected impact and benefits. 
Same thing with social media management, coming up with that. It's giving me a couple of tools that we could use, client reporting and ad campaign management and so on and so forth. So do you see the value there of just taking that time? And if you've never used AI for process improvement, now you've at least got ideas for each one of these friction points or at least one, each one of these revenue activities and the friction points that you gave it, it's giving you some solutions, some tools, some impacted benefits. And again, you could just run this as many times as you want. If you wanted to, again, it would be even more impactful if it knew more about your business, but I just kind of wanted to show you at a high level. And so now you're thinking, okay, well, great. Let's focus on content creation. Tell me how I can incorporate SEMrush or Ahrefs to improve it, right? And then you could just go on a deep dive with ChatGPT. Then you could also bring in perplexity to go even further and even deeper. But again, I just kind of want to show you that now you've got this custom GPT, this tool that you can use for any of your friction points to come up with the plans. Now, let's do the same thing in Claude projects, right? This is where I think it's even more powerful. And so in this case, I went into Claude and I went into projects and I said, create a new project. I already created one called value mapping. I'm inside this project called the value mapping. And it's the same thing. You've got an area where you can add content for project knowledge. And so probably what I would do is I would add things about my business, my brand summary, my website copy, things about my customer avatar, all of that stuff would be in there that knows everything about my brand. I didn't do this in the demo, but of course you could do that if this was your project. But I did do custom instructions. In fact, I already put them in here. It says custom instructions. I clicked on it. And remember that same thing that I put in the, the custom GPT? when we were creating it, those custom instructions are also the same thing, the exact same thing that I put in here for the custom instructions. So it's already sitting in there. And so I kind of want to show you even how powerful this is without adding the project knowledge. Now you've got this project where you can come in and do value mapping anytime that you want. I'll type in the same prompt, let's start, and let's see what it asks me. It should ask me similar questions that the custom GPT did, and it's telling me, that it understands that it'll be acting as an expert business analysis focused on identifying and implementing AI opportunities to enhance business value. I'll use a structured practical approach that balances strategic insight and so on and so forth. To begin, I should understand what specific business energy you like to analyze. Again, that'll help me map and core the value acting, all this stuff for, for value mapping, right? Could you tell me about your industry, business type, main activities that generate value? Remember what we talked about for value mapping and any specific challenges or bottlenecks you're currently facing. Perfect. So let's take that same set of dummy data that we put in there about the digital marketing agency. I'm a digital marketing agency with five team members. Here are our main activities and friction points, content creation, social media management, client reporting, ad campaign management, client onboarding. So we've got it all there. Let's see how well Claude Projects does. And here we go. He's analyzing it and providing me an implementation plan. And it's giving me a priority. This is why I love Claude. Claude is just so much more powerful at this than I think in ChatGPT at the moment. This is just my personal opinion, but look at this compared. It's giving me a priority mix based on time investment versus revenue impact. It's telling me that content creation is very high with the revenue impact. Social media management next, client reporting, ad community, client onboarding. So give me a priority mix, which I love. Here's an implementation plan with giving me a potential saving times of 15 to 18 hours a week. Again, maybe you don't know how to do that, but at least you've got the plan and now you can use the large language models and your team to figure out how to do that seo enhancement that's the same thing that chat gpt said it's given the same tools semrush and arep which i like that content optimization claude or gpt with custom fine tuning which is good and then social media management saving 10 to 12 hours a week content calendar automation using custom gpts response management information and then even an implementation timeline here month one set up GPT-4 API integration. Now you've got a plan. See how much more powerful this is? This is the exact type of stuff I would do with an executive leadership coach, but it would take me weeks to come up with this. And now here we've done it in just a matter of minutes. Now actually doing the thing, you still have to do it and implement the improvement, but at least you've got a plan. Now you can use the large language models to help you implement the plan. So we're saving 33 to 40 hours a week, additional client capacity, three to four clients. You could take on three to four more clients you're expecting a return on investment in three to four months. So what are the next steps? I love this. And this is why I love Claude so much. So to recap, the action plan is do the value mapping exercise. First thing you find your 
uh, most profitable activities, find the choke points, document those, and then create the value mapping assistant. And I showed you how to do that in ChatGPT and Claude. If you don't know how to write the custom instructions, ask ChatGPT or Claude to write the custom instructions for you. Input your data that you had in there or your choke points, your value added activities, and I'll come up with a plan for you. Then the next is implement the plan. So maybe the next video, what I'll do is I'll pick one of those and show you how I would use some of those tools in there to implement a certain plan. If you want to see something specific, let me know in the comments or you can reach out to me directly at ray at ninja.pro. Ask me anything specific. I got the link down there I'll put in the show notes too for the actual custom GPT that I created. If you want to play around with that, nothing wrong with that. You can use that. You can look at the guts of that as, as well. If you want to get the guts of the those custom instructions, how to build it. My goal in AI Ninja, in my, particularly my Apex group, is to start doing things like this, but then eventually get even better at this. And how do we use AI to be innovative in our organizations, whether we're an ambitious solopreneur or if we're an organization with multiple employees? Either way, the opportunities around this are endless. It can easily be overwhelming. You don't need to be, you can't keep up. It's impossible to keep up. Start doing that trifecta. Use ChatGPT, use Claude, use Perplexity. I didn't even use Perplexity in this example, but just using those two, you can see you can start implementing or at least getting some alignment and clarity about what to do next. And you haven't even bought any new AI tools. This is what AI Ninja is all about, using these tools to ride this wave in this positive disruptor revolution that we're using these to accelerate and facilitate improvements in every aspect of our life, not just in business and in return. This is totally transforming life. I want it to transform yours. That's what AI Ninja is all about. So again, the same process that I showed you in this video it used to take me weeks to do it with the client. Now we can do it in a matter of minutes. And that is revolutionary as far as I'm concerned. This is the power of having the right AI framework. That's what AI Ninja is all about, giving you that framework, showing you how to use these tools to transform your life, your business, every aspect of your life. So again, Click in the notes down below. You can get the custom GPT instructions. You can use the custom GPT itself. And so reach out to me if you've got any questions and if you want to be part of AI Ninja Apex. I've got a few seats left open. I'm going to cap it at 10. I've got three seats, maybe four seats available. Hope to see you on the inside.